nothing better than a good old fashioned cup of coffee, right? Somebody say amen to that. Amen. Amen and amen. Hey, good morning. It is Tuesday morning. It is the 20th day of October here in the heart of the Arkansas Delta. Good morning, good morning, and good morning. It is good to be with you. Good to be hanging out with you. It is a gorgeous day that's out there. Uh, weather forecasts are calling for all kinds of goofy things over the next two or three days, anywhere from tornadoes to snow. So who in the world uh, knows what we are going to get? Hey, uh, when you get in, say hello, say good morning, and don't be like Mary Weddington and be smart. Okay, she's being a smart mouth this morning. So, Mary, you got to stop that. All y'all get in, get on, say howdy. Let me know who all is here and hit that share button. Hit that share button this morning. Hey, it is a good day to be in God country today. It is a good day to be here. Hey, we got the, uh, some... Uh, pretty exciting things going on right here at uh, the uh, church campus this morning. We are getting the piano tuned. Uh, that baby grand is being tuned as we speak. And i just going to tell you something. As a, as a piano player, I am ready to get my hands on that bad boy as soon as he finishes today. So uh, I am excited to hear the difference. If, if you don't play, uh, you, you really don't understand the minor differences there is when a piano starts beginning to get out of tune. And uh, uh, I just, to, to let you know, I can hear it. And, and so I'm very excited to get that bad boy back up to a standard 440 pitch. And so I, I am very, very excited to, uh, to play. And I'm hoping to get my hands on it later this afternoon. And if I do, you just never know. I might just pull off another live and we may just do some worship this afternoon as we test it. So that is what's going on today. Uh, Gloria is here and she has told me that the lines at the courthouse to vote are not as long as they were yesterday. Uh, she said they were just in fact atrocious yesterday. And so uh, if you are planning on getting out and voting, then we want to encourage you to be careful, plan, for longer lines, okay? Plan for longer lines to get there. Uh, it is uh, not as humid as it was yesterday. Did y'all notice? You know, we had this goofy rain that come through the Delta yesterday. On, on our side of town, on the south side of town, it, it rained by the bucketfuls. And uh, uh, we didn't even good get, get a good uh, hint of uh, moisture in the air uh, here on the north side. So, uh, uh, just crazy stuff, but it was very, very humid. Uh, the rest of the day and the rest of the night, I was back up at the church uh, for a long time last night for uh, for meetings, and uh, I, it was just crazy how humid and sticky it was. But uh, thank God that thing is gone this morning. Um, so uh, when you get, we got a great crowd this morning. I have no idea who I was on. Uh, so go ahead and say howdy to me. Let me know what's where and all that good stuff, Mary. I voted this morning first in line. Praise the Lord for you. Uh, that is excellent. Good morning, Judy Davis. Hey, how you feeling, lady? How's your arm? How you doing? Uh, there's Tommy and Arlene. Good morning, Tommy and Arlene. Glad you are here. There's Miss Jessie. Good morning. There's Miss Pam. Good morning. Uh, right. All right. All right. It is all here. And just this is just for Mary Weddington right here. Y'all ready? I'm going to slurp real loud. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Hey, speaking of coffee, yesterday... Yesterday, the uh, the new coffee shop in Wynn opened. Mocha Joe's has opened. Um, and, of course, just like with all new businesses, they are crazy busy. Lines are backed up like mad. Uh, so if you happen to go that way and you want to try it, just know that there's probably going to be long drive-through lines. I am planning on uh, getting down there the next couple of days. Lester, good morning. There's our Tennessee fella. Good morning, buddy. Glad you're here. Uh, I plan on going down and testing them. Uh, I will check and see just how good that coffee is, and uh, and I will most probably be writing a critique on my Facebook wall. So I am very very excited. Miss Judy got got cast on. Paint is better. Amen, amen. Miss Judy, I'm glad that uh, all is better with you. Uh, we do not want to see you struggling like that. So you make sure you take it easy, okay? You take it easy. Uh, who else we got on here? Who else can get in here and say howdy to me? Like I said, we have just got uh, some craziness going on. Facebook is acting about three levels of stupid again. And, uh, of course, that's really nothing new. Uh, they're always changing something. And uh, just sure enough, they're changing again. 
So just uh, uh, let me know who all is here and where. And hey, we're going to be beginning 1 Corinthians chapter 12. If you want to uh, go ahead and get on uh, over there, because we're going to be reading, uh, I think, about 11 verses this morning or something. Uh, uh, real quick, just kind of want to give you uh, folks some highlights for the week. Uh, tonight, we are going to be doing our online Sunday school class. It is going to be me. Uh, and we will not, hear, hear me, we will not be doing Zoom tonight. I'm going to do it straight live right here on Facebook. Uh, and so that'll be tonight at 7 o'clock. We are in, let me see here, let me get my book. We're in Isaiah, and I believe it's chapter, what did I say? Chapter 37, Isaiah 37. So uh, this is, that's where I'm going to be at tonight at 7 o'clock. I really want to encourage you to... Uh, to hang out with me. If you were here on campus on Sunday morning and attended Sunday school, it's going to be the exact same thing. So I'm going to go ahead and warn you now. Uh, I'll just uh, duplicate Sunday morning Sunday school lesson. But if you still want to come on in and hang out and hang out and uh, just jib jab with us all night long, you are most welcome to do that. The more the better. Come on in and party with us. And that is tonight, tomorrow night, 6 30. It's Wednesday night live. And uh, uh, we are going to be wrapping up that incredible book of Ephesians uh, as we bring that to a halt, that powerful sixth chapter uh, as we bring it in. And then next Wednesday, we are going to be going back to our study on the 12 disciples. We had started this uh, back uh, prior to the pandemic, and uh, uh, we ended up doing the very first four disciples. We did... Uh, 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 Peter and Andrew, James, and John. That was the four that we had talked about. We did the two sets of brothers. And so we're going to pick up next Wednesday back in that Bible study on the 12 disciples. I'm looking forward to getting back into that. Uh, uh, Thursday morning, 10 o'clock, Miss Pat will be uh, on, uh, on campus and she will be uh, continuing her study in spiritual uh, warfare. Looking forward to uh, hanging out with Miss Pat. I hadn't seen her uh, in a couple weeks because she's been out. I've been gone. And so I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing that sweet lady as she continues to teach. Uh, every morning this week, we'll be right here grabbing a cup of coffee, chit-chatting for just a few minutes, reading a little scripture. So make sure you join me for that. Sunday morning, guys, 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 make sure you're you're uh, in the house on Sunday morning. We, we have just had a couple of just real powerhouse Sundays. Uh, God's word has just been so strong and so powerful, and uh, we just want to see what God is going to continue to do this coming Sunday. 9.30 Sunday School, 10.15 is the digital lobby, and 10.30 it is Ridgewood Live. All that is going on. Also, uh, uh, as I have been sharing Monday, this coming Monday, is our annual associational meeting for the Tri-County Baptist Association. We need one more person that will volunteer to go with us as a official messenger from Ridgewood. Uh, right now, uh, it is going to be Brother Larry and Pam and Miss Denise and myself. That's four. We need five. Uh, and so if you would like to go, it is from one o'clock till 530 at East Baptist Church in Wynn. We would just love to have you go and hang out with us as we represent Ridgewood at our annual meeting. So uh, if you want to go, make sure you Anybody can go. That's not a problem. But we need one official that will make sure that they're committed to go and uh, to be a part of that service. That's Monday from 1 until 530. Uh, Pam, Graveside for Rush is Thursday at 1 o'clock at Forest Park. Uh, buried by your parents. I do understand that. Now, Pam, if I'm understanding of that right, that's actually on 1B going south of town, going out where we live. Is that right? Is that the one that's out there uh, uh, past the community center? Uh, so if you'll just make sure, help me out there. There's Brian Ponder sneaking in the building this morning. Uh, glad to see Brian. Glad you are here. Glad you are here. Uh, Let's see here. What else am I doing? There was something else I was going to share with you, but, you know, age just uh, has begun to get me. Uh, I do want to share this with you. Today is a special day for my daughter. Uh, uh, my daughter and her husband are celebrating their eighth wedding anniversary. Uh, eight years ago today, eight years ago today, uh, I had the privilege and the honor of walking that beauty right down the aisle uh, to spend uh, her uh, forever with uh, my now son-in-law, Devin. And uh, I'm just going to tell you something right now. Words cannot tell you how much I love those two. 
Words cannot tell you how proud I am of those two. Uh, they, they're just, they're amazing young people. They have been together for a long time and uh, they dated for a long time through college. They, they, they took the time to get to know each other. Uh, they were just, just very close friends and then uh, uh, God just made it very clear what they were to do. And uh, it's just fun, been fun as a dad to, to watch God at work in the, in the life of, of his daughter. And uh, uh, I'm just, I'm very, very honored to be able to do that. And it was such a privilege for me to get to do this. Tough, I'll be honest with you. You know, she's our only child. And uh, and it was tough for a dad to get to do that. So uh, I do uh, I do understand uh, when parents have to do that. But I'm just going to tell you something. It has been a blessing just to watch their love and their marriage prosper and to blossom literally over the past eight years. So uh, uh, if you get a chance today, just say a quick prayer for uh, Tab and Devin and just ask God to continue to bless their marriage and their family. Uh, they have given us a, the, the absolutely most beautiful uh, grand boy that uh, has ever been put on the planet. He is precious. Uh, he is all that and a massive bag of Cheetos. That's all I'm going to say about that. Colson is the man. And so uh, I have an incredible family. I'm very blessed uh, to have my family. And uh, there, there's five of us uh, in our family, plus our three fur babies. And uh, we may be small, but man, there's a whole lot of love in those five folks. So uh, very, very blessed. So like I said, uh, pray for my kids and just pray that God would continue to bless and to uh, prosper. Uh, that marriage. I think that is all I have got this morning. Uh, I hear the piano going off in the background. That dude is lighting them up and uh, uh, getting it ready. And I'm a test it after a while. I'm going to get up there. Denise says I just, just bang the pooey out of a piano when I play. And I really do. Uh, I like to just go, and y'all don't really see this a lot. Uh, there's just times, uh, Gloria hears it. Uh, there's times I just I just have to go and sit and play. Uh, it, it just, uh, it's a it clears the, the, the mind, it, 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 the mind's palate. I just, I have to just get, get it cleared and, and playing the piano does that for me. And so uh, uh, I like to go in there and just play and just, uh, there's no semblance of order. I just, just love to play. And so uh, that might be the, today I have to do that just to check out that new tuning. So that ought to be fun. But again, uh, if uh, everything works out all well, you might see me again live this afternoon. We'll do a little, do a little worship stuff this afternoon. Uh, okay, I think that is it. Get your Bibles. We're 1 Corinthians chapter 12. We're going to be talking, uh, going back into Paul's conversation uh, with the church at Corinth. And this time he's talking about gifts. He's talking about spiritual gifts. Now, I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about this this morning because there's just a way <laughs> too much uh, that, that goes on that really needs to be discussed in the realm of spiritual gifts. There's, you know, there's several lists in Scripture that we talk about. Uh, if you've never had a spiritual gifts test, I would encourage you to take one. If you would like one, I have them. I'll be able to get you one. Just let me know, and I'll make sure it gets it in your hands, and then I'll score it, and uh, then we will go from there. They're fairly accurate. If you're honest, they're they're very accurate. Uh, if you're honest to the questions, there's no right or wrong answer. Uh, it's just being yourself and answering uh, the way you truly feel about some things. And uh, if you would be uh, willing to do that, uh, thank you, Brian. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, if you'd be willing to or want to do that, be glad to do it. Uh, all of my student leaders, uh, when I was, uh, was uh, at the university, all of my student leaders, it was mandatory. I made them take it. Uh, it was just uh, a learning experience for them. It was great for me to, uh, as their uh, campus pastor, and uh, just just had a great time. And I've had a lot of adults take it over the years, and uh, like I said, it, it's it's highly accurate when you are honest with it. Uh, okay, y'all ready? 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Do you know your memory verse for the week? We shared it yesterday. It's Hebrews 9.27. It's a passage of scripture that we talked about on Sunday. As part of our message on the sea of lost souls. It is Hebrews 9.27. And as it is appointed for men to die once. But after that, the judgment. That is our memory verse for the week. I want to encourage you to just mark it down, go write it out several times, get it to where you can memorize it and burn that in your heart so that you can use it as a weapon when Satan wants to start chewing on you and start aggravating you and start nudging you. Uh, okay. Oh, I know what it was. I know exactly what it was. 
uh, that I was forgetting a while ago, and I just saw it on uh, on social media uh, this past summer. I, I really had the, uh, the the privilege of getting to know a young man, not as much as I wanted to, but uh, as much as he could, and that's Larry and Pam's grandson, uh, Tanner. Today is Tanner's sixteenth birthday, and so uh, uh, his mama has put up all kinds of pictures and love for uh, for Tanner. He's a sweet kid. And uh, uh, he helped us on, on a couple of occasions when we were doing our drive-in church and uh, uh, just had some great ideas for us. And we kind of listened to him and, and, uh, and he helped us out tremendously. And uh, I was just so proud that he was here and hanging out with his grandparents. And uh, I was blessed by uh, just being able to hang out uh, with Tanner. So today is Tanner's birthday. And uh, if you know him, if you know his mama, Melissa, or his daddy, Shannon, uh, or his sister, Taylor, make sure that you get word to Tanner today. He is 16. That means he's probably going to go get a driver's license and uh, get rid of that, that driver's permit. Uh, so uh, happy birthday, Tanner. All right, here we go. We are in 1 Corinthians chapter 12. And we we're going to be beginning at verse 1. He is now talking. Remember, he's talking to the church at Corinth. And he's trying to get them to, you know, hey, straighten yourself up. Here's what he says. Now concerning spiritual gifts, brethren, I do not want you to be ignorant. Boy, he is sugarcoating that, right? You know that you were Gentiles carried away to these dumb idols, however you were led. Well, way to go, Paul. I'm talking, Paul's calling them out of here like, like you, you're just screwing around with them dumb idols. You know? Pay attention, you folks at Corinth. Dumb idols. I don't want you to be ignorant. Y'all, we got people all across the country that's ignorant to dumb idols that they're worshiping today instead of Jehovah God. This is just as powerful today in October of 2020 as it was in the first century when he was writing to the church at Corinth. Look around at what people are worshiping, what people are giving their, 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 their focus on, their attention to, their money to, their devotion to. Oh, what some powerful words here. Verse 3, Therefore I make known to you that no one speaking by the Spirit of God calls Jesus accursed, and no one can say that Jesus is Lord except by the Holy Spirit. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. In other words, every one of us is different, as, as different as we are in looks, as different as we are in gifts. There are sets of gifts. There are, are many, many spiritual gifts that are available, but God is the one who chooses who gets what. And I promise you, you have them. And the minute that you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's like they are activated. And uh, you just you just get those, and it's those things that you do without thinking. It's part of who you are. It's part of your, uh, I'll say it like this, it's part of your Christian DNA. Uh, yeah, I mean, you just can't help but do it. That's, that's, that's the way your gifting is. There are diversities of gifts, but the same Spirit. There are differences of ministries, but the same Lord. And there are diversities of activities, but it is the same God who works in who works all in all. But the manifestation of the Spirit is given to each one for the profit of all. For to one is given the word of wisdom through the Spirit, to another the word of knowledge through the same Spirit, to another faith by the same Spirit, to another gifts of healing, healings by the same Spirit, to another the workings of miracles, to another prophecy, to another discerning of spirits, to another different kinds of tongues, to another the interpretation of tongues, but one and the same Spirit works all in these, distributing to each one individually as He wills. Just you know, confirmation of what I've just said. You know, He He deals them individually as He wills. I know exactly what my spiritual gifts are. There is no doubt. I know what my spiritual gifts are not. Do you know what yours are? Can you put your finger on? If you got questions about it, give me a holler, okay? Let's talk about spiritual gifts. Guys, that is all I've got for this Tuesday. Remember, 7 o'clock tonight, right here, 7 o'clock on uh, Facebook Live. It is Sunday School, Chapter 37 in the Book of Isaiah. I really hope you join me uh, tonight as we just kind of pull in and chit-chat uh, about what Isaiah is talking about. And he's talking about God and he listens, how he listens. And so that is going to be tonight. Tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. 
Ridgewood Live. I'm definitely looking forward that uh, you join me for uh, Wednesday night as we wrap up Chapter 6, the entire book of Ephesians. That is all I've got for now. If you run into anybody in the store today, guess what? Tell them about Jesus, okay? Let them know that the greatest thing ever, ever, ever that they will ever do is to accept him as Lord and Savior. Folks, have an incredible Tuesday. I love you guys tons. We'll talk soon. Bye-bye.